me. is upon me. Mm -hmm. Because, because he has, he anointed, has me anointed me to what? To preach the gospel. To preach prosperity. To preach the gospel. To preach prosperity. To preach the gospel. The anointing makes you preach the gospel. That's right. To do what? To preach the gospel. For what? To the poor. To the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Hmm. Hmm. These people heart, the, the religion done took their heart and crushed it. That's true. Because through the manipulation of Satan, they actually misunderstand the purpose of the Bible and the purpose of church. That's right. Viewers and you that are here, this book is not designed for no man to get rich off of. No. Do you understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> when we build churches or buy churches around the world, we don't come to the church faking it, hmm. phony, hmm. eyes all closed. Church, the Lord just spoke to me. The Lord spoke to me and told me to tell you, give $5,000 a person, and he'll give it back 100 for No, 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 the Lord ain't told me that lie. Didn't say that. No. We want to open the church, we tell the church, all right, look, this is what we want to do. Let's buckle down and get it done. God bless us to buy our new campus there in Philadelphia, 200,000 square feet. We got all the members all over America and abroad. I ask everybody, all right, let's sacrifice $1,000 a head so we can get this campus and glorify God. I wasn't sitting in front of the television like Robert Tilton. No. <laughs> or walking around like a blowfish like T.D. Snakes. Telling women you loose and yet you got a second husband you ain't loose from? No. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The reason why people flock to these mega churches because they don't know the ingredients of a preacher. That's right. There's a Bible preacher. And there's a satanic preacher. Oh, yeah. A Bible preacher points the world to Christ. To Christ. A satanic preacher points the world to dollars. That's right. So then you go to these preachers here in Texas and other areas because you want to hear, oh, the Lord said if you give this, the Lord said if you give this, the Lord said if you give this. If you give, they, they put on the preacher's voice. The Lord said, if you give this, oh, wait a minute, what you say, Lord? Mm. What you want me to tell them, Lord? <laughs> the, and this is showing you they don't have no fear. How you can stand right there and act like God talking to you, and you don't hear nothing, not even crickets. Amen. And the people fall for it. Oh, yeah. Had a woman write me from T.D. Jakes. She said, I know he's lying, but I don't care. I like him. <laughs> Is that Bible? Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter, uh, chapter 5 and chapter verse 30. Five and verse 30. Follow me. Jeremiah 5 and verse 30. Listen. A wonderful, a wonderful and horrible thing. And horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy the falsely. The prophets, any time a man can get up with no conscience and no fear and said, the Lord told me to tell you, give uh, 30000 and 50000 and uh, several million dollars to this ministry. And the Lord told me to tell you, if you give it, he'll give it back to you 1,000 fold. God told me to tell the church I need a jet and a bunch of religious suckers fall for it. That's right. God told me to tell you it's time for me to get a new yacht. Mm. That's right. You let Pastor Jennings get on television <laughs> and tell these folks, hey, the Lord told me to tell y'all uh, I need a new plan. They were like, don't send that devil nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that way he ain't got to come here. That's right. And they wonder why the sinners have no respect for church. Yeah. Even the, listen, if you're from the hood, you know a hustle when you see one. Oh, yeah. And these pulpit mega bums are street church hustlers. Amen. They hustle you in the name of Jesus. Anytime you got to pay for prayer. Mm. $10,000 prayer line, $20,000 
prayer line and some sucker blow on you and you fall out. Oh, yeah. And then you get in some fake prayer line. Why you always got to fall down when someone is back there to catch you? Amen. If the Lord is dealing with you, then hit the concrete floor. Amen. Am I right, I said? You never see them fall on concrete. They always there with a back catcher. And sometime Amen. before they go back, they're looking. They want to know, you got, you got me? That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? In Jeremiah 5 and at verse 30. Jeremiah 5 and 30 says. A wonderful and horrible wonderful thing. and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Is committed in the land. Hold it now. Here the Bible says it's wonderful and it's horrible. It's wonderful to Satan and it's wonderful to the flesh. But it's horrible in the eyes of God because it's God's people that's doing this. That's right. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. Yes. The prophets prophesy falsely. <laughs> people love to be told they're going to get rich. Oh, yeah. Love that. These television preachers come tell you, claim your healing. How many of you ever been told that or been heard that? Raise your hand. Good gracious. <laughs> My Texas family, there is no teaching. In the history of the Bible, where the prophets, Jesus, Jesus, or the apostles told anybody, claim your healing. No. Preachers tell you, don't claim that bad back. If you don't have to, it'll claim you. <laughs> I mean, look how foolish the devil make you. You see, you ain't got no food in your refrigerator. And the preacher going to tell you, oh, don't you believe you ain't got no food? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, I said? I want to show you what a sucker he makes you. Your stomach growling. You hungry. You see it ain't nothing in your fridge. And here's some satanic devil Posing as a Christian, telling you, the devil wants you to believe you are behind in your bills. You got pink slips, yellow slips, blue slips. The devil ain't got to make you believe it. The proof speaks. <laughs> I just want us to come back to common sense. That's right. That's right. The devil wants you to believe you're behind in your bills. The devil wants you to believe that you don't hardly have no food. The devil wants you to believe you can't hardly make ends meet. <laughs> the devil want me to believe all this? The devil ain't got to help me to believe it That's right. because I'm going through it. That's right. Do you understand? So Satan, and this shows you the serpent characteristics of Satan that works in the preacher. By the time he bring a subliminal message to seduce you and make you ignorant to reality. That's right. He tell you, the devil made you lose your job. <laughs> it's because of the devil you ain't got no food. Mm. It's because of the devil you ain't rich. We give the devil too much credit. That's right. Sometimes it is our bad decisions that we made that got us in a predicament that we are. That's right. That's right. Well, I don't like telling a single girl, the devil got you pregnant. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> that boy got you pregnant. That's right. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. Holiness is reality preaching. Yeah. Not this fairy tale foolishness. Yeah. The book says, a wonderful and horrible thing. Chapter and verse again. Jeremiah. And we go back mm -hmm. to the wealth mm -hmm. and the uh, wise. All right. Jeremiah 5 and at verse 30. Listen. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Prophet means messenger. False prophet means fake messenger, phony messenger, fraud. Fraud. A false prophet is one that the Lord never spoke to. The Lord did not deal with him. I'll show you that. Hold that and give me Jeremiah 23, 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse Let's 23. Let's define what a false prophet is. False means fake, phony, unreal. Mm -hmm. Prophet means messenger. Mm -hmm. 
false prophet is one that's out there on his own, lying and saying the Lord got him out there, that's but right. God is not responsible for him being out there, yet being a false prophet still fulfills scriptures. Because right. Jesus said, many false prophets shall come, and they shall deceive many. Many. Listen. Jeremiah 23 and at verse 21. What is it? I have not sent these prophets. Wait. Mm. Wait. Amen. Wait, Isaac. Amen. I have not sent these prophets. But what did they do? Yet they ran. All these fools got all Run. type of calling. You can hear every type of strange calling. One man I was told said when the Lord appeared unto him, he was dressed like an astronaut. God in a space suit. Lord help us. Mm. He probably was watching the Apollo and fell asleep. Fell asleep. Had a dream. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Neil Armstrong came and sat on the side of his bed to dream, and he thought it was the Lord. My Lord. The most dangerous thing to listen to and more dangerous to follow is a false prophet. False prophet. Because a false prophet, not only can he ruin you in this life, he can actually hinder you from going back with the Lord if you simply believe one lie. One lie. How many things did Adam do to get put out to God? One. How many? One. All it takes is one thing to keep you from making eternity with God. That's right. I got to stick to the old pathway. Gotcha. Listen. I have not sent these prophets. What did they do, son? Yet they ran. And you see them all out. Oh. I believe a lot of men would do well if they had someone to teach them. Yeah. But if you're so arrogant and self-righteous and hard-headed, no one can tell you nothing, you're going to make a mess. That's right. Listen. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. They, they running, too. Oh, yeah. What else? I have not spoken to Wait them. Wait a minute. Amen. God I, said what? I have not spoken to them. Any revelation, when you hear these men say they got a revelation, don't get excited. Mm -hmm. Because when that revelation contradicts this book, yeah. that revelation comes from hell. That's right. Because you got to use the book to back up what's been revealed. That's right. Now, let's understand this. Today's revelation, today's scriptural revelation, is yesterday's knowledge. That's right. What do you mean, Pastor Jennings? Anything that God revealed to you in Scripture, you just being brought up to date mentally and spiritually with the knowledge of the past that have already been given out. That's right. Because there's nothing new under the sun. Under the sun. You're just catching up yeah. with understanding. Do you get what I'm telling you? That which hath been. Do you hear the Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 15. Brother Solomon says. That which hath been. That which have been. Is now. Is now. So whatever knowledge you have about God, when it comes from God, somebody already had it before you was born. That's right. That's right. No new knowledge. No new knowledge. Because all revelation must be written. Right. In order to prove it. Yeah. Because Jesus said, he that believeth on me as the scripture has said. That's right. See, the scriptures never said that Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. Yeah. So when someone comes and says, I got a revelation. Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. Jesus said to believe on him as the scripture has said. So you're going to have to run to the scripture where Jesus said he's the second person. Or where any of the apostles said he's the second person. Or where the prophet said he's the second person. And if you can't find it in here, I don't pay it no mind out there. <laughs> That's right. 